Loud here, taking over the Listen Out Loud podcast. I'm sure you're aware that around the Loud House, I'm known and feared as the master of pranking. Well, today, I'd like to pass on some of my knowledge to you, my loyal listeners. Welcome to Luann's Pranking 101. some basic pranks. To demonstrate, I'm going to need help from some unsuspecting victims. And by that I mean, of course, my siblings. <laughs> hey, Lincoln! Can you come in here? Can I wait? I'm in the middle of a video game and haven't hit the save point yet. But it's important. I, uh, want to interview you about Ace Savvy for my podcast. That'll get him in here. Oh, why didn't you say so? You lose. What Lincoln doesn't know is that sitting on top of my door is a bucket containing a slimy surprise. Maybe I could start with Ace's new love interest. (laughs) Fish heads? Really, Luann? That was nothing. It could have been worse. You're lucky I scaled it back. (laughs) Now this prank is great because all you need is a bucket and a chump. Moving on, let's check out a prank I have set up in the bathroom. All we need now is to lure someone in there. Hey guys, I'm about to take a 40 minute shower. I got a lot of pie to clean out of my ears. If you gotta go, you better get in there before me. Move it, I got a tinkle. It's all yours, Lola. What Lola doesn't know is that I've taped a layer of plastic wrap over the toilet seat. When you prank someone with a short fuse, you have to be prepared for retaliation. That's why I carry a nail gun. Did you just nail the door shut? It would appear that way. Uh, Moving on, let's head downstairs. Hey, Luann, have you seen my bucket of fish heads? Sorry, Lana. Check with Lincoln and let me know if you find them. (laughs) Here we are in the kitchen. A smart prankster will know that there's no shortage of prankertunities in here. Now, we just need a mark. Observe. Dad, come quick! What is it, honey? Did Lenny try to dry her hair in the microwave again? No, I was just getting a snack from the fridge, and it looks like your souffle has fallen. That's bad, right? (gasps) What Dad doesn't know is that I've set up a spring-loaded boxing glove in the fridge. Hey! That was a good one, honey. You're grounded. So worth it. Now that we've covered most of the basics, let's move on to the next level, the old double down. I just need to grab a couple of items from the kitchen. Hey, Lori, what are you up to? Uh, Trig homework, and it's literally frying my brain. Well, maybe you just need a snack. I brought you a bag of your favorite low-cal bean chips. Wow, thanks, Luann. That's actually really thoughtful of you. What Lori doesn't know is that I dumped hot chili powder on the chips and then resealed the bag. Why is my mouth on fire? Luann, what did you do? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Here, here's some water. Uh, What Lori doesn't know is that I just handed her a glass of pickle juice. Ah! OMG! Is that pickle juice? Ah, what's the big deal? I'm just gherking your chain. Luann, you literally better get out of here. (laughs) Now, I know what you're thinking. Luann, how does it get any better than that? Well, listen and learn as I show you how to do the old triple down. Hey, Lynn, how's your day going? Bad. My dogs are itching like crazy. Must be my athlete's foot. What Lynn doesn't know is that athlete's foot has nothing to do with it. Earlier today, I put itching powder in her tube socks. Uh, What was that? Uh, Oh, nothing. Hey, I got just the thing for you. Some anti-itch cream. Oh, you saved my life. Thank you. I'm just going to use it all, if that's okay. Oh, by all means. What Lynn doesn't know is that I really just handed her industrial strength glue. Hey, what what the heck? My hands are stuck to my feet. What did you do? Oh, my gosh. I must have gotten my tubes mixed up. Maybe if you wash it off, it will dissolve. (laughs) What Lynn doesn't know is that I set up a tripwire right outside her door. (laughs) 
side note, listeners. If you wanted to make this a quadruple down, you could put mouse traps on the stairs. Now, for our final lesson, it's important to know your mark. Not everyone is going to be as ridiculously easy to prank as Lynn. I heard that. For someone as smart as my sister Lisa, you have to think a few moves ahead. Allow me to demonstrate. Hey, Lise. Greetings, fourth eldest sister. You may not want to linger in this area. I'm working with some pretty unstable elements. Oh, wow, that sounds like hard work. Why don't you take a load off? Here, I happen to have a chair out in the hall. I'll just wheel it in. <laughs> really, Luann? Our other siblings may be gullible rubes, but I will not fall for your immature tricks. Obviously, there's an inflated rubber sack, street name Whoopee Cushion, on that chair, which, when I sit down, will make me appear to be flatulent. What? Would I prank my sweet little four-year-old sister? Uh, spare me. I shall choose to sit in my own chair, thank you. What Lisa doesn't know is that I knew she would sit in her own chair, so I strapped a jetpack to the back of it. Oh, what's that rumbling? Perhaps I am a bit flatulent. <laughs> This is one fecal study I do not care to be a part of. Ooh, that was a doozy! Get out. Well, that concludes the demonstration segment of today's show. Let's open up the lines for some calls from listeners. Ooh, we got one. You're on with Luann Loud. What's your question? Hello, Luann. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller, and I was just wondering, how do you prank a prankster? Won't she always see it coming? Great question! There's only one surefire way to prank a prankster. Create a distraction. As soon as their guard is down, you strike. Hmm, a distraction? Like a phone call? Exactly! <laughs> what Luann didn't know is that her entire family was waiting on the other side of the door. Eyes in hand. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Well played, family. I guess I got my just desserts. Did I mention that my pie was made from Lily's dirty diapers? Uh, bye, listeners. I gotta run to the shower. <laughs> <laughs>